Joining me now on Halton News is the liberal candidate for the upcoming Milton by-election, Galen Nadeau Harris. Thank you for doing this. Absolutely. It's my pleasure. Glad to be here. So let's start with the generic question that a few people who see your name are asking. Why did you choose to run in this by-election? Well, I think for me, it's about representation. I mean, you know, you mentioned the last name and, uh, you know, for me, with the family history that I have, um, I can see what somebody that cares about Milton and is working hard for it can get done over the course of a term. Uh, you know, if you look at uh, what my mother was able to do, investments in healthcare, education, higher education, public transit. And I feel like for the last six years, looking at what Doug Ford and uh, our local PC MPP have gotten done, I haven't seen the same level of engagement haven't seen the same level of advocacy, and uh, I think Milton families deserve better. So I want to offer them a positive, progressive political option here in town uh, to fight for the investments they deserve. Well, you know, you already mentioned your mom, and in the tradition of, you know, the Trudeaus, Mulroonies, not party-wise, but pedigree-wise, Canada loves the story of political pedigree, considering your mom once held the seat that you are now running for. Do you think that gives you a bit of an advantage here? I wouldn't say it gives me an advantage per se. Um, what I would say, though, is that, you know, I think uh, if I look at political role models, I have an advantage in having her as one. Um, you know, I think Milton benefited greatly from having her as our MPP. I'm, of course, biased, but I think she got a lot done in the four years that she was in. Uh, and I think people probably recognize that. I think, um, you know, there's a lot of talk these days of, uh, you know, what does it look like when you have a, a generational, um, you know, you have somebody following in their parents' footsteps. Um, I, the way I look at it for me is, there might be a few more doors that open than there might be for somebody else, but I have to walk through them, you know? So I've had the opportunity to work closely with uh, great elected officials like Adam Vancouverton, Charles Souza, David Zimmer, Kevin Flynn. I spent five years on the Conservation Halton Board. I've worked closely with Wilfrid Laurier trying to get that university campus built. So, you know, is, is there, uh, you know, is it possible that there are doors that open to me every once in a while that might not be open to the average person? Yeah, but I still have to walk through them. I've devoted my life to public service, especially here in this community. And I like to think that that'll resonate with people more than the last name on the ballot. So for those people who don't know, you know, before jumping into this race and clearly focusing on this now, what was your previous job and gives you the background to be able to do this? Sure, yeah, I've highlighted a few things uh, in the past five-ish years. So the first one to be working closely with Adam Vancouver and our current member of parliament. Uh, we met back in 2018 and I uh, worked with him to get him elected first to help him secure the nomination for the Liberal Party, uh, then to win the general election and then worked as his manager of community affairs in Milton for two and a half, three years, something like that. Um, and I was, I, I like to think of myself as a problem solver in that role. Um, you know, people came into the office looking for help um, getting a CERB payment uh, through during COVID uh, with an immigration case, with their taxes. Um, I was the one that was dealing with a lot of those problems. Not that uh, Adam wasn't well equipped, but he was in Ottawa advocating for us. And so we needed boots on the ground. And that was me in that office. Uh, I've also worked closely with Wilfrid Laurier University. Um, it's long past time for that campus to be built and operational here in town and try to do what I can to support those efforts for a little over a year. Most recently, I've been managing the team for Charles Souza, who is the um, member of parliament down in Mississauga Lakeshore, uh, managing his teams both in Ottawa and in Mississauga and doing some similar stuff. I mean, as uh, a manager, as the leader of that team, I had the opportunity to sort of sit and do a little more of the operational stuff. And I did that, but I'm passionate about the community work too. So I continued to help serve the families that lived in that riding as best as I could. Um, and again, you know, sort of looking at trying to put my money where my mouth is when I talk about higher education being important, serving people being important, uh, the environment being important. I've also been on the Conservation Halton Board of Directors for five years, trying to help them in their efforts to build a, a more sustainable local community here. So um, I, I think there's a couple things that I've done that set me up well for success here. And, um, you know, looking forward to the opportunity of doing a little bit more and a little bit bigger of a role to serve Milton. Well, you do have a political background, as does your opponent, though. Well, let's talk about your conservative opponent, that is Zishan Hamid, someone that is known to the Milton community due to being a counselor and giving Gord Krantz a real run for his money in the last mayoral election, um, was once a supporter of the Liberal Party, now has painted himself conservative blue. Just wanted to get your thoughts on Z. Yeah, well, I, you know, I think of Z as a friend. Uh, we're still quite friendly with each other at events and around town. Um, you know, I'll keep it brief. I was disappointed he chose to run with the Conservative Party because it hasn't aligned with um, the values that I've known him to hold over the, uh, you know, over the years that I've, um, I've been friends with him here in Milton. But I wish him all the best. Uh, we're still on great terms. And, um, you know, I'm sure we will be uh, during and after the election. Focusing on this election, I did speak with Zishan and two things he was pushing all day two way go train service and the construction of the 413 highway wanted to get your stance on those two items. 
Sure. Yeah, we're together on one and apart on the other. Um, I'm absolutely in favor of all-day two-way go service. Uh, if we look back at our political history here in town, that's something my mother was advocating for 10 years ago. The current PC government still has not gotten it done, so forgive me if I'm a little skeptical when they say they're going to get it done now. Um, and on the 413, we have a, a different point of view. Um, I don't think that's the best use of our tax dollars, especially at a time when affordability is acute. Our healthcare and education systems are in crisis. There are better places we could be spending that money, and I don't think we need a new highway on environmentally sensitive lands. So uh, absolutely, we need to move towards all-day two-way go service, and I will champion that as our MPP if I'm elected. Uh, I would oppose the 413, though, and our party has been early and often and vocal in that opposition. All right, finally, the floor is yours. Why should Milton voters put a check mark beside your name on Election Day? Yeah, sure. Well, like I said, uh, I think Milton deserves a voice at the provincial level. You know, it's been six years of Doug Ford. It's been six years of a conservative MPP locally. And I can't point to one thing they've built. I can't point to any major investments in healthcare, any major investments in the environment, nothing on public transit. And I feel that Milton families also haven't felt listened to in quite some time. So knocking on doors, those are the things that I'm hearing that at the high level, those issues that people care about, um, you know, things that are acute now that, you know, that are causing problems for families in town that have legitimate concerns are not being addressed by our premier and our conservative leadership. And that when they felt they needed to turn to their MPP for help, he wasn't there. Those are two things I would like to change. I believe in investment in healthcare, education, the environment, public transit, and making life more affordable and building more homes. And I'll certainly be there when people call. I'll pick up the phone. I'll do my best to serve you in that office. So I um, can promise to be attentive and I can promise to work hard. I hope you think about supporting me on May 2nd. Well, I appreciate you taking out time uh, today for us here at Halton News. Wish all the best on Election Day. Thanks so much. Thank you so much, Jason. It was nice speaking to you this morning. I really appreciate it.